Welcome! In this video, we're going to cover the common and the not-so-common wetland birds of Missouri. This isn't a complete list of all the wetland birds that are out there, but it should be enough to get you started. Next time you're out on a wetland, keep an eye out for the following birds. Let's start with the great blue heron. Due to their large size, this is one of the most easily spotted wetland birds. They use their long legs and long beak to wade through the water for fish and anything else within striking distance to eat that they then swallow whole. This is one cool bird. Next is the green heron. And like the great blue heron, this bird is a fish striker, as you can tell by this photo. But sometimes they use another hunting technique. The green heron is one of the world's few tool-using bird species. It often creates fishing lures with bread crusts, insects, and feathers, which it drops onto the surface of the water to entice small fish in that it then strikes to prey upon. You can find the green heron during the summer months of Missouri. This is the great egret. Like the great blue heron, this bird is quite large, so that makes it really easy to spot. It's also bright white, which often stands out against the green or brown backgrounds that it likes to hang out in. This bird you also may have seen in the symbol of the National Audubon Society, which is an organization that was founded to protect birds like the great egret from being killed for their feathers. Next, the mallard. We aren't going to cover many duck species in this video, but I will share a couple of the most common ones. The mallard is probably the most recognizable duck, with the male having that bright green head. But there are many other different types of ducks including our next species, the wood duck. These birds nest in tree cavities, or will often use nest boxes, as long as they're the right size, and the right shape, and in the right location. If you put one out in a wetland, you may have a wood duck in it. No, this is not a duck. This is a grebe, specifically a pie-billed grebe. These birds rarely spend time on land as they are built for the water, with their legs located near the backside of their bodies to assist with diving deep and propelling through the water. You can find them here in Missouri year-round. These gangly-looking birds are called double-crested cormorants. They love fish, and so that's where you'll find them, anywhere the fish are. You can often see them standing on various objects in the water, like in this photo, with their wings outstretched to dry, and other times they're simply foraging in the water, like this photo, catching fish. They're quite fun to watch, and I hope you can find them. This bird is called the black-crowned night heron. They are most active at night or at dusk. They live in fresh, salt, and brackish wetlands and are one of the most widespread heron species in the world. And they'll spend their summers here in Missouri for breeding season. This is the least bittern, the smaller cousin of the American bittern who migrates through Missouri. You can find the least bittern during the summer breeding months here in Missouri. They can be quite difficult to spot, but with a little patience, you might get lucky and find one. When alarmed, bitterns do this funny thing where they freeze in place, with their bill pointed up toward the sky, and sometimes sway their whole body to resemble wind-blown marsh vegetation. It's quite neat, and I hope you can see it. Meet the American Coot. This is a pretty recognizable bird when you see it, with its dark body feathers, and white bill and frontal shield in the front of its face. In the winter, you can find these birds in rafts of mixed waterfowl and in groups numbering up to several thousand individuals. You'll know when you see one. This is a Sora. They often can be difficult to see, like a lot of the other birds we're talking about, but you may hear them. Lard, loud noises sometimes give Soras a startle, but instead of jumping up like we might do, they give a whinny call. Even slamming the door of a car may startle a Sora into calling. Listen to the following recording to hear what that sounds like. You are most likely to find the Sora during the spring and fall months of Missouri. This is the Virginia Rail, another secretive marsh bird that remains hidden in dense vegetation. What's really cool about these guys is actually their forehead feathers. The forehead feathers of Virginia rails are adapted to withstand wear and tear that results from pushing through dense and often sharp marsh vegetation. How neat to have a cool forehead. 
And now, the osprey. A raptor, unique in its ability to dive into water to catch fish. These guys mainly migrate through Missouri in the spring and fall. And what's neat about them is they're excellent anglers. Several studies of ospreys showed that they catch fish on at least one in every four dives, and that the average time spent hunting before making a catch was only 12 minutes. So think about that next time you go fishing. A well-known species, this is the trumpeter swan. They are our largest native waterfowl, stretching six feet in length and weighing more than 25 pounds. You really only see them in Missouri during the winter time, but what a sight they are. Next, another familiar large bird, the American white pelican. You're most likely to see these guys migrating through Missouri in the spring and fall, but you also might see them in the winter time. They look a little awkward on the ground, but they look quite majestic up in the air, and it's truly a neat sight to see. Meet the Wilson snipe. Yes, snipes are real. They feed by burying their bills deep into soft, wet soil to probe for insect larvae, worms, and other invertebrates. Their bills have flexible tips that can open to grasp food while the base of the bill stays closed. Snipes can slurp small prey from the mud without having to remove their bill from the soil. You're most likely to see them during the winter months of Missouri. This bright yellow bird is the prothonotary warbler. They bounce along branches and swampy woodlands and are one of the few cavity nesting warblers. You can find them here in Missouri during the summer breeding season and they're quite a fun sight to see. These birds are swallows and you'll often see them flying through the air catching insects mid-air. The one on the top, the bright blue one, that is a tree swallow and the one on the bottom, the brown one, is a northern ruffling swallow. And these are only two species of the many different types of swallows that you can find here in Missouri. This is a swamp sparrow, a common wetland sparrow that is here during more of the winter months. These guys are ground foragers, so you will often find them walking along the water's edge or just inside the vegetation, picking seeds and insects from the mud or water. This little cutie is a marsh wren. These guys are tiny but fierce. They fight for resources and regularly pierce eggs and kill nestlings of other competing birds. You can find them here in Missouri in the spring and fall, and they sometimes breed in northern Missouri. If you find yourself in a wetland during the Missouri summer, you are very likely to hear this little bird, the common yellow throat. You may not be able to see them as they're quite small and they move around pretty quickly but you may hear their witchety, witchety, witchety songs and their distinctive call notes throughout the wetland. This funky looking bird is the belted kingfisher. They nest in burrows along earthen banks and feed almost entirely on aquatic prey, diving to catch this prey. You'll often see them perched along branches out overhanging the water just like the one in this photo, while they'll watch below for insects and fish swimming by, then they'll dive down, catch the fish, and bring it up to their perch. They are one cool bird to see. Lastly, please enjoy the video of one of the many different types of shorebirds you may find in Missouri. This one, the lesser yellow legs. something new about your local wetland birds. Next time you're out on a wetland, maybe I'll see you there. Bye!